Well, first of all, it's a good budget, and uh, it kind of got lost in a lot of the, the hype if, or the noise lost in the last uh, little while. Plus, there's, there's a number of groups that are out there that are suggesting that what we're presenting is not really true. Uh, so we're breaking it down into what you see today to, to show Albertans that this is a good budget, that there's lots of good positive things in there for the future, for the future of our province. Plus, it's a responsibility of government to ensure that Albertans understand what we are doing with the budget and the dollars that are there. That chatter on Twitter today from your colleague. Yep. Um, can you talk about that? Sure, John and I, Minister Dennis and I talked this, this morning about uh, what he was intending to do and what he was intending was the same thing that I'm talking about. We've got to get the communication out there because there's there's too much misinformation about what is actually in the budget or how it's presented. I, I think the uh, the next leader of, of our party needs to needs to be chosen based on skill set, experience, the things that they bring to the table. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how that, all of that unfolds. Uh, the date has now been set for September 6th. Uh, there's, uh, I think, uh, time for me to uh, consider that at the appropriate time. Right now, as I said, my focus is on the budget. Number one is family. I, I put my family through this once before. It was uh, a very trying experience and uh, I think uh, that is the number one consideration and, and my wife will, will be uh, probably the one that actually makes the decision. Uh, I don't want to put that on her, so don't call her. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but it is a partnership that we've, we've worked on for 34 years and will continue to be that way. So that is the number one consideration. The other one is how much support is there and how much, how much resources are there. And those, those things have to be factored in.